You do what feels good for you. It's really not about anything else. You do what feels good for you as opposed to what we think people want to see us like. We each have something that no one else has and it'd be so amazing just embrace each other how we are. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your Sally when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question, tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills. Always 50 50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet, I buy. The clothes I'm wearing, I buy. The rock I'm rocking, I buy. Depend on me if I want it. Watch I'm wearing. I want it. The house that I live in. I want it. The car I'm driving. I want it. Welcome back to your girl channel. I'm Daisha Lee. If you are new here, if this is your first time viewing my content, I will hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel, boo. And uh, for all of my returning subscribers, as usual, thank you so much for joining in on yet another daily vlog, honey. I had to slow it down a little bit, y'all. Y'all know I get tongue-tied on my little intro. But anyway, girl, we kicking off this weekend. Not weekend, I'm sorry. We kicking off this weekly vlog, y'all. And as y'all can tell, Babe, I'm in the middle of running errands. I'm trying to do everything I need to do because today is Monday. We got a fresh start. And I'm just like, listen, I need to take care of my business today, okay? So I have uh, different returns and stuff that I'm trying to do. I just returned my son's uh, bookshelf, the one that was missing all the parts and stuff. And now I'm currently about to pull up to the post office because I have some shoes that I ordered from a site called Belk. Um, where I was influenced by my boo Elsie LeClerc. She's here on YouTube, y'all. Insert her um, channel name right here on the screen somewhere. Um, she has these Hermes dupes that she wears, and they're real cute. And she was saying that there are, they are like, uh, you know, wide foot friendly, and y'all know I got fat feet. So I ended up ordering me a pair thinking, you know, they was going to, you know, fit my foot. And to my surprise, they came in the other day, and y'all, they did not. Come on, baby. Come on. They did not fit my feet so i'm kind of like sad about it because they so cute and i didn't want to have to return them but child we got to do what we got to do so they don't like the material the material like it doesn't give at all it's that pleather material leather material whatever you want to call it um so it doesn't have any give um so i was just like dang man i wish it would have worked out but anyway i'm up here like i said at the post office about to get ready to return them and y'all the post office is packed baby Everybody, I ain't never seen this post office pack. I ain't never seen a post office pack like this. It is super duper packed. So I guess this is this is the time when everybody get up here. You know, I guess once they get off of work and stuff like that. So let me try to run up in here. Hopefully it's not too much of a hassle. And um see if I can return it. Let me just show y'all real quick what they look like before I bring them back. It's by this company, Crown and Ivy. Can y'all see? Yeah, I know the sun is real bright, y'all. Um, and it's a black pair. With white trimming, they so cute. They so cute, y'all. And like I said, my little fat feet, baby. This part right here, if it went, if it, if it had a little give to it, you know, I can get my foot in, but I can't. I can't do it. And I needed these shoes so bad. Um, so yeah, I am a little disappointed. But anyway, let me get up in here real quick, y'all, because baby, it's just piling up with people. Let me get up in here and go get these returned. I've been working on me, baby. I volume, I volume. There's so much trauma in my life. I've been so cold to the ones who love me, baby. I look back now when I realize. Now, remember when I held you? You make me with your trust. I can't keep you from loving him You made up your mind 
No, I need an oil change. Oil change? Yeah. Uh, I gotta say we got the filter. Okay. Yeah. Or have you been here already? Um, not at this particular location, no. Oh, yeah, we'll have to check if we have your filter. Okay. Yeah, so just stay here. And just stay. Come. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm fine. Oh, you're good. Yeah, thank right. you. Let me just greet this other customer okay. and then I'll come back right Thank you. <sighs> Ciao. It's been a day of errands, y'all. Day of errands. Oh, Lord. So I try to return this, but y'all, when I tell you the post office was, baby, it was packed. It was hot. It was hot in it the post office. It had a lot going on, y'all. And I'm just like, right now, baby, I'm over it, okay? I'm over I'm trying to take care of everything I need to take care of, but I'm over it. My kids, they supposed to be at track practice right now. Got to the uh, school where they normally do track practice. They have a game. So obviously they're not practicing on the track. Um, I drive to this other location where they normally go. Nobody's there. So I was like, listen, I'm not finna be hounding nobody to be figuring out where to go and all this and that. So I ended up texting my husband. Oh, I'm all washed out, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm all washed out. She's tired. Hold on, y'all. My set is on a little high, so I look a little washed out. But give me a second. Hold on. Oh, great. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I got a phobia of this. Oh, because I'm scared to drive over this hole. Oh, Lord, it be feeling like my tire finna just fall in it. Like, yes, oh, Lord, help me, real. Jesus. Like but, um, hold on. No, but, uh, I was looking at the inspection. Just oh, okay, okay. To get your Mom, this hole is you know what? It is time for my inspection. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hadn't even paid attention to that. No, oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm just riding around. Oh, Lord. Cause I got, I have another vehicle too, and yeah. All right, y'all, look. They're not gonna tell y'all if they offering coupons or anything. So go to the website. All right. There you go. There you go. Thank me later, baby. Thank me later. No matter how I think we grow You always seem to let me know It ain't working, no It ain't working And when I try to walk away You hurt yourself to make me stay This is crazy, no This is crazy trying to find my kids something to wear tomorrow for their award ceremony y'all and baby it ain't really looking it ain't looking too good mm -hmm. bad boots mm -hmm. i got beans and bologna we in the academy now y'all trying to see if we can get some uh cleats for my baby for track for his track meet friday so wish us luck, child, cause ooh, baby. Mm, I know how I feel. Soft to the touch, let your hoes on. Let you get a handful, baby. She's a whole lot of woman. Soft kisses on some bad lips. It's yours, baby. You can crash it. Girl, listen, I'm finna just come back and show y'all real quick what I ended up getting for my kids for their uh, award ceremony for tomorrow. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too spectacular. I just pretty much got what they had. Um, I didn't really feel like going to other stores and stuff like that, y'all. This week, and today is only Tuesday, mind you. But this week, from yesterday to today, I've been running errands like crazy. And I just feel like I need to play catch up with my rest. And I just want to relax. And I just want to unwind. And I have not gotten that chance to do so, y'all. I'm just, oh, girl. 
Y'all, when I tell you, baby, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been like non-stop. Do you hear me? Non-stop. And girl, it's, oh girl. I just feel overwhelmed. I've been saying this since the previous vlog, y'all. I feel super overwhelmed. I just feel like I just can't catch a break. I cannot catch a break. And I just, all I want to do is relax and kick my feet up. And I very rarely have the opportunity to do so. But Tonight I'm finna do it. I'm about to go downstairs after I finish talking to y'all. Finna go get me a glass of wine and sit my tail down and watch a little TV. Maybe a vlog or something. I just need to relax my mind, clear my mind, unwind. Okay, I need to do everything. Because, I, girl, listen, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. To say it's coming to, like, to say this is my kid's last week of school. Y'all, I just feel like I it's too much going on. I don't understand. But anyway, I got this Tommy Hill figure shirt for my son. I seen this. I don't necessarily know if he's going to wear this tomorrow. But I was trying to find something that goes with like his shoes and stuff that he has. Um, I normally and typically will go for like a collar shirt. A nice little button down. You know what I'm saying? Being that it is like an award ceremony. But girl, they be having them kids dressed casual and all kind of other stuff. I feel like my kids are always... Um, you know, super dressed up and stuff like that. And my whole thing is, as long as they look nice, baby, that's all that matters. As long as my kids are nice, they look presentable, they clean, they fresh. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. Like, I don't really think he has to actually have, like, a collar shirt, per se. Um, just because, in it, just because it's, um, an award ceremony. So, yeah, I picked this up because he can either wear his Jordans with this or he can wear his little, um, Air Max that I have, his Air Nikes that I have for him. So, got that. And then I just picked up this jumpsuit. Y'all, I got this jumpsuit out of the junior section for my daughter. It's in a size small. And it fits her really, really good. They didn't have anything in the kids in the kids section in her size. So typically I would get her like a um 16, 18 in the kids section. They didn't have anything, no dresses, no two-piece sets, nothing, y'all. So I was like, what's what's really going on? But anyway, yeah, we got this and I let her try it on and it fits her real cute. So I thought it was real cute, y'all. I thought it was real cute. And she liked it. She comfortable with it. So, that's all that matters. So, from there, y'all, ended up going to Academy. I showed y'all that um, I was looking for my son some uh, track. What they call them? Not cleats, y'all. They're not called cleats. It's track. Um, oh, Lord. Track spikes. The shoes. The track spikes. Yeah, that's what they call. I guess they still a form of cleats if you want to. Okay, that's what you want to call them. Anyway, my husband called me last minute. Um, and asked me if I can stop and get him some track, um, some track shoes because he has a track meet Friday and Saturday. And I'm like, sir, you putting a lot on my plate that I'm not asking for. I already got a lot to do. Like, I don't know. Listen, listen, I'm tired. I'm tired. I know it may not seem like it, but I'm tired. I'm mentally drained. Okay. It's a lot I do around here. This house will not move. It was not for me. Okay? And I'm not bragging about it. I'm not... I know I'm doing my job as a mother. So, I know that's to be expected. But I'm just saying it's a lot. Okay? So, yeah. I, I have enough. I don't need nothing extra placed on my plate. Okay? I'm full. All right? All right. Um. So, anyway, y'all. From there, we ended up going to Five Below. I didn't take y'all in with me because the girl, listen, I was trying to... Choo, 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 choo. I was trying to get in and get out. But, anyway... I already took everything apart. And I'm trying to see where I didn't put, put it. What a little piece said. Girl, why I didn't put the little piece? That's what I get. I'm moving so darn fast. I just ended up getting another charger, y'all. A 10 foot long charger. Um, Because my mother-in-law just gave my son one of her old phones. And he been bumming everybody charges around here. I let him use mine. Let him use mine, y'all. He ended up breaking it. So, it still works, but it has a shortage. You know how you got to try to hold a wire once in one spot so that it'll stay. And I'm like, I ain't got time for that. So, I ended up going by me a charger and both of them. My daughter and uh him, my, my son. Got them their own charger. That way they ain't got to keep asking. Mama, can I use yours? Because, no, you cannot. You can't. You can't. Because as long as I'm using my stuff by myself, it works just fine. I ain't got no problems with it. But as soon as I let one of them... Use my stuff. Here you go being broke up and I ain't got time. But anyway, I got that. And then I ended up picking up on this, y'all. This little, um, 
I'm trying to see what they call it. It's called a Type C and USB wall charger. So I got that. I thought that was real neat. It has, um, you know, the Type C for your regular charger like this. For the newer chargers, y'all know what I'm talking about. For the newer chargers, this little piece. And then it has the USB A one for the old one. And then it just has like the regular plug. And I just thought that was real neat. So you just plug it in. And then, you know, you can have multiple devices plugged in at one time. I thought that was real neat. So, yeah, I just went ahead and got that. Because that would really come in handy. That way I can have more than one thing plugged in at a time. And I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but my little, um, girl, what you call this? I guess my little nightstand, child. Okay, it ain't no dresses, but child, my little nightstand, this actually has, uh, like a built-in plug behind it. So that's why I really had, um, love this. Because I can plug in in a wall as well as the back of my little, um, nightstand or whatever. I need to get my husband one, but girl... Yeah, I need to get him one. I do need to get him one. But I think I'm going to end up probably getting rid of this. And um, me and my husband, we're going to end up just getting like regular uh, nightstand dressers. That way we can put like our, uh, like maybe underclothes and stuff in there. Because y'all, we need space. We need some more. Like we still, like I didn't try to, y'all see I didn't add in my little closet situation right here. But girl, listen, I still need room. I still need room. I've been piling up clothes in these little bins right here. That's not even supposed to be right there, honestly, but I don't have no dresser space. So I'm like, yeah, I need to really get get rid of this and then add, like I said, a dresser here and a dresser down side of the bed, uh, which is, it's been long overdue for my husband to get his own dresser, child. I guess he say, uh, you just, you just do whatever, you know, you get your stuff and you don't even worry about my side. And it's so crazy to me because I'm so like, I don't really want to say OCD, but in a sense I am. So the fact that I just have this here and nothing on that side, I be looking like, girl, that's just so, it, it just feels so awkward. I would have figured by now that I would have had invested in another dresser or something like that to even, you know, both sides out. But child, listen, y'all know what I'm going to say about that. Y'all already know how I'm, <laughs> y'all already know what I'm saying about that. But anyway, y'all. That's about it. Like I said, right now, I'm just super... I'm, listen, y'all see, I'm, I'm yapping. I'm talking real fast. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. This heat ain't making nothing no better. And I think that's, that's why my energy is kind of like drained, too. I'm just drained, y'all. I'm drained. But anyway, that's all I was coming to tell y'all. Um, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow once we get to my kids' award ceremony. And show y'all how everything goes with that. So, so I hope y'all have an amazing night. And if you haven't already, baby, please go ahead and like, comment, share if you can, and subscribe. Hit the bell for the uh, hit the bell for the post notifications. That way you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. And baby, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. So thank y'all again. If you've um, uh, so yeah, thank y'all again for all of the support and all of the love. It never goes unnoticed. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, so don't go nowhere. Okay? Bye.
y'all. We are pressed for time. I'm trying to head out, but I was just showing y'all how everything turned out with this little outfit that I'm wearing today to the ceremony, girl. Everything is Dee Dee's dress shoes. I'm wearing my Telfar bag. And I have these Alexander Wayne dupe earrings that I'm always wearing, y'all know. And my little um, Cartier dupe. And I just got to put my rings and stuff on. And that's downstairs. So anyways, let me head on out, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Thank you. These boots are not made for walking. Demonstrating <laughs> growth core values. Cadence Williams demonstrating growth core values. Access to board and AB honor roll. And Carrington Williams demonstrating growth core values. Look, my baby, y'all. Move the balloons, mama, so they can see you. She did so good. Let me show, show them what you got, mama. She got demonstrate road core values, excellent. got the excellent citizen award, and A and B honor roll. Y'all, I'm so proud of my baby. She did so good. Don't, the only thing we didn't get this year is perfect attendance, but it's all good. We had things to do. I'm coming. I want to leave and go give me something to eat so bad, but girl, when I tell you it is, baby, it's packed, and I just know if I leave, that's gonna be my parking spot because people are having a hard time as is trying to find somewhere to park. So. I'm going to stay my tail right here until it's time for my son's uh, ceremony to start, which is at 11.05. Right now, it's 10.24. But, girl, when I tell you walking from the parking lot to the school, by the time I sat down in that gym, baby, when I say already drenched, y'all, uh, sweat running down my back and between my thigh, girl, listen, I say, no. Nah, it's finna be a hot summer, y'all. It's finna be a hot summer. Listen, it's finna to be a hot summer. Baby, when I tell you, I'm finna have to go give me some booty shorts on deck. Listen. Listen. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna be able to do it, y'all. Uh-uh, honey. Nope. I say that don't make no sense. Just by me walking from the car to the school. Whoo, child, baby. One thing about it, though, I keep my little... Dry spray deodorant on deck. Listen. Keep myself fresh and clean, baby. We ain't got time for this. We ain't got time for it, okay? No, 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 baby. Can't have it. So, I'm so hungry right now, y'all. Like I said, I wish I could leave and just go give me something to eat, but that's okay. Once my baby, um, oh, child. Once my baby ceremony over with. I'ma just go and um get us something to eat because they say they wanna leave. They want obviously they wanna uh they trying to leave and come back home with me. So we gonna do that. But girl, yeah, I'm so proud of my baby. She got every single award. She got everything but the um what I said. Perfect attendance. Normally they get perfect attendance every year too. But like I said, with us traveling and stuff this year. Uh, for my baby football, you know, of course, we had to miss, they had to miss like two days, I think. But yeah, girl, she got the AB on the roll, she got demonstrating the rope core values, and she got the excellent citizen, uh, girl, I can't say that. Excellent citizenship, cit girl, can you read, baby? Excellent citizenship award. So yeah, so proud of my baby, so proud. And I always get complimented from her teachers on how well she is. I just was talking to um one of her, uh, I think that was her math teacher. And she was just saying, like, I'm going to miss her because I told y'all that, obviously, they're going to another school next year. And um, she was just saying, like, if I can duplicate any kid in my classroom, it would be your daughter. And that's just, like, the highest form of a compliment that you can offer somebody like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just lets me know I'm doing my job as a mother. You know, I'm not no perfect mother. I don't always get everything right. But, hey, I try and I give it my all. And I learn a lot of stuff from my kids along the way, too. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know it all. Uh, so, <clears throat> we all learning in the process. But, you know, I give the, I do the best that I can with my kids. And, you know, it, it's paying off. So, I love it. I'm just so proud of them. I'm always so proud of them. Like, I, I can't even think of another word right now to use. But, if it's another word that exceeds proud, that's what I am of my kids. All the time. So, anyway, y'all. Let me try to chill out for a little minute, and baby, I'll get back to y'all. I had this little topic I wanted to talk to y'all about. 
um, with something that recently just, or I was going to say happened to me. That's not how I want to frame it. I wanted to talk about something that I just recently, I guess, experienced. And I just wanted to, you know, pick y'all brain and see how y'all would feel about it. So I guess while I'm bringing it up, I might as well talk about it, right? I ain't got nothing else to do, girl. So let's talk. Let's chat. Uh, Car Chronicles one on one, okay? So y'all, I have this person, right? I have this person that reached out to me. I told y'all, you know, at work, I be helping, you know, certain people with accounts and stuff like that, right? No biggie. And I don't mind doing it at all. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm all caught up, caught up on my work and, you know what I'm saying, I got a little time to look into their stuff. It's no, it's no problem. I don't mind. But I just kind of feel like, and I, and I don't want to lose my train of thought because y'all know when I get off into one thing, baby, it's hard for me to pinpoint why I even started talking about it in the first place or why I brought it up. So I just feel like common decency these days is very rare. It's very rare, like, almost like common sense. It's kind of like, it's hard to come by. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I, girl, I just been so baffled by people and their actions and the nerve, the audacity of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, at this big age, and there's people older than me. The people that I'm referring to, they older than me. And I'm like, y'all know better. You know what I'm saying? It's just some stuff you just know better. I always say it ain't about what you do, it's how you do. Right? And I'm and I'm one of the people I like to operate, you know, in decency and in order. You know? That's all I ask. In decency and in order, be respectful. That's it. And so she reached she reached out to me to help her, right? But when she sent the email to me, it was just like how the email came across it was like no greeting it was straight to the point um it wasn't no hey it wasn't no hi it wasn't no good morning it wasn't no good afternoon it wasn't um any of that no type of greeting just straight to the point just exactly what she need from me right and at first i was like okay whatever you know i kind of like overlooked it you know i was gonna go ahead and proceed to help her but at the same time i'm of the belief that when you start letting people get away with certain stuff, they feel like when you start when you start letting people get away with certain things, that's how they continuously operate with you, right? And so I was like, no. Nah. After I, I took a step back and reevaluated the situation and just reread the email, I was just like, I, I know she she could have a simple greeting, hi, hi Daisha, not even hi Daisha. I, I, I would have just took it with a hi, hey. It was none of that, y'all. And so, baby, one thing about me, I'm an overanalyzer, y'all. Sometimes I do be feeling like I read into things too much, right? Sometimes I feel like you kind of make it something out of nothing at times. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm like, it's a possibility. You may be, you know, taking something and making it out of nothing. But on the flip side of that, I'm like, no, it's a reason that it rubbed me the wrong way. So stop second guessing why you feeling how you feel. You know what I'm saying? You feeling like that for a reason. But anyway, long story short, because I know I'm going to drag it out. I never responded to her. Never responded to her because I was just like, you know, no response is a response. And it, and it speaks volume. And so I left her like that. She follows up with me the following day, that evening before she got off of work. And she was just like, I just wanted to see if you had a chance to look at this. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I don't think that's what she said verbatim, but that's what she was getting at. Um, I just wanted to see, I'm just following up to see if you uh, ever had a chance to look at this account. Again, no greeting, no nothing, no... So, I just, I say, you know what, baby? Just play the game. Play the type of games that people like to play with you. Just go ahead and, and play crazy. Y'all want to act like you don't understand uh, the respectful way to send an email. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you know what? That, that's fine. We could we could do that. But, yeah, again, no response. You you won't hear. You won't be hearing from me, baby. If you ain't read between the lines, if you seen whenever you got to that account that next morning, that that balance was still sitting out there, what that's telling you? Did I get a chance to look into it? Oh, okay. All right. And we're going to leave that right there, okay? And, you know, I hate to try to... I, I hate I hate being like that, y'all. I'm not no ugly type of person. I'm not no malicious type of person. But at the end of the day, baby, respect my mind. That's all I ask for you. Respect my mind. Respect... You know what I'm saying? You coming at me, come at me in a respectful manner, baby. It's just going to be nothing but respect. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it, baby. So, I, I left there like that. 
And like I said, sometimes you just got to know when to speak people's language. You know what I'm saying? It's simple as that. Dry and cut to the point. But anyway, y'all, let me save a little bit of my um footage for my baby ceremony. And uh, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later, girl. That's just my little TED Talk for the day. Child, we at Dick's now trying to find my baby some uh track shoes and he can't fit none of them. But they run real small, like we done worked our way all the way up to eight, so hopefully he can fit them. Y'all, 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 y'all. I took a picture of him and his little girlfriend, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all a picture of him. Tell him about your girlfriend. How she how she looked today for the award ceremony. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So yeah, Sorry. eight it is. Okay. No. Yeah, is those are good. Let me tell you this is. Y'all look at these Air Forces. They cute. What is that? With the silver on the side, they 119. My baby says she like these. How are these those? Yeah, I've been wanting these for the longest. These are so cute. These are okay, but I feel like that um that material will get real dirty real quick. But they cute too. And I need some new tennis shoes, y'all, but I ain't buying none today. I just came in here to get my baby his stuff, so let me go ahead and get up out this store, girl. If I get the spinning. <laughs> 